30 day sprints and you keep charging. I mean, you, once you have momentum, the biggest mistake people do is taking their foot off the gas. You need to push it harder. And I'm telling you, then you've got to get more activity, more enthusiasm. You've already got this great momentum going right now. Just keep pushing it. I saw one group here in Arizona this Sunday. They went, everybody went out hiking. They were giving out e-shots and, you know, doing all these things, giving out the, um, the amps uh, products to people, the replenish and things like that, giving cards out, you know, following up with people, just getting out there making contacts, don't let up whatever you do. The most important thing is to keep on pushing, keep on pushing through the end of April. And then like right through the director. I mean, you have so many people that can get that director bonus. You know, if you put your focus on it, things will happen. You know, a lot of people want crystal manager, but go director. It's so important because then you can jump in that director pool. That $2,500 director pool is unbelievable and not enough people talk about it. Because when I call out to them, nobody even knows there was a director pool. So as you're talking about going director, say, talk to your people. Go director. And just imagine if you stay paid as director once you reach it and keep helping your people push up, you can earn an extra $2,500. And then as you're pushing on to for the crystal, keep pushing on for that crystal executive and show people the extra $5,000 that's available to them. So it's always the next push and it's pushing your team members up. You probably enrolled a lot of people over these 90 days, but now rank advance them, push them up the rank, show them the director pool, show them the executive pool. It's huge. I mean, I call out to those pools and I call the gentleman, Angela, you will love this. He had lost everything he had in December, everything, his home, his wife, everything, divorce, job, everything, like the worst, tragedy and he couldn't buy his 11 year old daughter a christmas present and he said i'm done with this and he joined isogenics and he in his fourth month made eight thousand dollars he i called him up and said you are in the executive pool he made five thousand dollars he just lost it he just couldn't believe it so it just goes to show you have to have that burning desire to keep pushing forward keep going for it and it's there for you, but it all starts with each and every one of you on the call and your leadership and your energy and your passion. It starts with energy, the energy of the team, which you have magnificent energy in this team. And then it's execution. It's you know doing the it's doing the do, enrolling people, breaking consultants, keep doing that, keep doing it consistently. What will happen is the magic will happen. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to tell you guys, I mean, even if you take what's left of the year, if you talk to three people a day for the next, you know, 300 days, that's 900 people. Even if you stink and you sign 10% of them, that's 90 people with the crystal manager that quadruples. I mean, an organization, it, it grows and it grows and it grows. So, I mean, there's just so much excitement in the air. And we have our, our friend from UK, it's two in the morning there and we are launching in the UK guys you own a global business think outside the box you know Kathy told me early on she said if I spend money at their establishment you better believe I was asking for a referral hairdressers the the gas station attendant where you get your nails done your masseuse uh, your your daughter's school teacher asking for referrals is so so important can you talk to us a little yeah. bit about asking for those referrals from everyone we know you know and what I would tell you is you need to make a list just for referrals and you know the people I'm talking about it's the people that you're a little bit scared to talk to <laughs> but you know what they ask you for referrals and this is what it's about just say share your excitement so I'm so excited I just started my own business I'm looking for some motivated people people that want to improve their health and also would like to make a secondary income do you know anybody like that and so when you're asking people you're not putting the pressure on them and it's so amazing what people will come up with and I always use the line maybe you can help remember that write that down maybe you can help because people love to help other people and I think when you ask people that way, you know, the doors open. You know, I had some friends that 
I knew they were never going to do the business and I really didn't want them to do the business, but I knew they knew everybody. They were the social butterflies. I said, you know, I started my own business. Maybe you can help me. Do you know anybody that's interested in health and anybody that might want to create a secondary income? And I'm telling you, I got some of the best people that way. So make your list of all the people you do business with people, maybe that have said no to you in the past. You can go back to them and say, you know, I know it wasn't for you, but maybe you can help me. Maybe you might know some people. Maybe you might know someone that's interested in health. Maybe you might know someone that wants to lose weight, have more energy, endurance, and stamina. Maybe you might know someone that might, needs to make an extra $500,000 a month. There's a lot of people out there just like that. So referrals, referrals, referrals. And when you get off this phone, a lot of times you're going to forget what I said. So what I would highly encourage you to do is get some stickies and write down referrals maybe 10 times. Yeah, write it on your computer and put it right up there. You know, put it on your phone inside of your phone, referrals. Put it on your window shield in your car, everywhere so you keep reminding yourself. And then, you know, make a commitment to ask people for referrals. Maybe even go pick your, your dry cleaning second. Hi, how's your business doing here? Well, it's pretty good. Well, maybe you can help me. I just started my own business and I'm looking for some entrepreneurial people that are interested in health and might want to create a secondary income. Do you know anybody? You know, so just talk to people. You're doing business with these people and you'll be amazed by using that line. Maybe you can help. And it still works. That's how John Anderson got Jim and I into isogenics. He said, maybe you can help me. I need some partners. I need someone that gives me some advice. Can you help me? And when people ask for help that are friends, you listen. Well, I remember Ellen Bretzel used the maybe you can help me on Facebook. And that got her from 23 cycles to 60 on a pina colada week. So if you guys have 500 friends on Facebook, have the conversation, inbox them. Maybe you can help me. I'm a health and wellness coach or I'm a, I'm a network marketer or I've started my own business. Maybe you can help me by putting up a Facebook post for me. Maybe it's, it's not right for you, but somebody from your friends will see. And social media is so incredible that if somebody puts up a post for you, not only does, do, do your 500 friends see that you're a reputable, reputable coach, but now they're 500 friends see. It's the best, fastest way to advertise, but if you don't ask, the answer is always, always going to be no. Right? Yeah, that's a really good idea, Angela, even putting up, maybe you can help me. Do you know anybody that's looking to, you know, trim up, to lose weight, to look hot for the summer? You know that we just got back from the Direct Selling Association and New Skin so, so two million tubes of toothpaste by showing people's teeth before and after, you know, and, and, you know, teeth aren't that exciting, but you know, but your body, I mean, so be showing those before and after pictures, we have the best before and after pictures. Who do you know that's looking to trim up? Who do you know that wants to improve their body composition and putting those pictures up there? I mean, we have the very, very best. Yeah. You know, uh, what, what I find is that for most people, especially with the, the challenge that some of us have, I mean, we're racing, we're running, we're blitzers, we're ready to go. But some of our new people say, well, I want to wait until I have a better product experience before I tell anyone, or I want to learn about the products a little more. And what I tell them is what's there to know? Eat it, love it, share it. So what would you say to the people that are, are wanting to learn more? Because you know what? I have to be honest with you, Kathy. I will tell you that my favorite is chocolate with the fruits and the greens. I will tell you everything and how it tastes, but I can't tell you a single ingredient. But that hasn't stopped me from signing up 700 people. People are going to enroll with you because they know you, they love you, they trust you, and they hear the passion in your voice. So what would you say to people that are still reading and learning and, you know, planning? Come on. I say, come on. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, you know, I think some of the most successful people are people, I, we call it ignorance on fire. You know, if you, you don't have to be perfect to share isogenics. I mean, it's your enthusiasm, it's your passion. Our products are not on trial, they work. You know, we have the best before and after pictures, we have the research, we have everything that you need to go 
and go, go, go. And it's sharing other people's stories too. It doesn't have to be all your stories. Did you know that Susie did this and Jane did that? And my gosh, my friend did this. I mean, sharing other people's stories and it will work for you too. It worked for them and it's going to work and, you know, it comes with a hundred percent money back guarantee. So once again, you just have to go out and do it. And once you start doing it, it becomes easier and easier. Practice makes perfect. But sharing your 30-second story with people. I started in these products. My energy increased. My focus, my concentration. I'm dropping pounds and inches. I'm excited. And I'm looking for people that want the same thing that I have. And I've also found a great way to make an additional stream of income. Because that, I mean, all the people I call, oh my gosh, Angela, it's it's life changing for these people. With an extra five hundred dollars, we'll do for some families. Absolutely. I mean, and I have to tell you, not everybody comes into this and says, "I dream of being an isogenics millionaire." Some yeah. people just want to put some fuel in their car. Some people want their husband not to work a second job. Don't ever devalue your story. Don't ever think that your story is not good enough because every story is equally as special, and you don't know who's desperately waiting to hear it. And you know what? What we try to tell everyone is you can't possibly relate to everyone, right? You can't be the person who's on energy and the person who lost 100 pounds and the person who's healthy. You can't. But we get to know the stories. Look at Bob Duncan playing hockey with his kid. You know, get to know Bob's healthy aging story. Look at Alvy, baseball player. My God, how his life has transformed from bottom of the barrel to the top of the mountain. You know, it, it, not I cannot possibly relate to everyone, but I think that the longer we're in this, if we join the Facebook groups and we're, if we get to know the isobody stories and the lookbooks, I think we become better story sharers. And that's all we are. We, we listen for cues, we listen for clues, and we offer people a solution. That's it. You know, and I always say, like, people are like, I'm not cut out for sales. Me either. Me either. I don't feel that I've ever sold anything in my life. But if you love Tony Robbins' new book, I mean, wouldn't you tell your friend, if you're receiving great internet service from Cablevision, wouldn't you share it with your neighbors? You know, what? tell me, do you feel that the stigma of network marketing is lessening and lessening because Isogenics is really doing it right? Oh, I do. I absolutely do. And it's your confidence. It's your conviction and your belief in the profession. And so reading some good books because people just don't know. Some people have heard good things. Some people have heard bad things. So you really need to be educated on it. You need to understand that accounted for 182 billion last year. This is big, big business. And the you economy, you know, that people are looking to start their own businesses. But, but a lot of these things, you know, cost a lot of money to invest. Where well, this is low startup, huge upside potential. They just need to know. And I think, too, Angela, one thing I was thinking of as you were talking, you know, so we finished the 90-day action plan, but we're creating the new group. And so, you know, going out to your team members that you have personally enrolled and your people, look, at I'm... I'm creating my, my new team for the next 90 days. And the people that want to move forward with me, I'm looking for five people that want to move forward with me, want to rank advance, and want to take it to the next level. So you're creating your new team every 90 days and really working with those people, driving them forward and casting the vision what can happen. I mean, Angela's got the best story of anybody. I mean, she really does. Casting that vision of how her life is so different since she joined Isogenics. Some people don't dream anymore. Some people don't believe anymore. And it's really shaking people to say, you can have this life. You can do it. You know, you just need to link with the right vehicle and the right company. So, you know, I think, you know, what you need to do is going into the next 90 days is just do it as fast, as furious as possible and make people see the picture that they can go director. They can go director. It's like, what, 19 days away to go director. You know, and then, of course, the launch of the UK is going to be huge for, for so many people. We're very, very excited about that. So just yeah. casting that vision, having everybody ask, who do you know in, in um, London? Who do you know in Northern Ireland? Who do you know in Scotland? I mean, they'll be surprised at people that come forward. So it's always putting it out there. And Facebook is a great way to do it. But it's also getting out of the house and connecting. And that's your master at that, Angela. 
I mean, it's getting out of the house and connecting with people and getting, showing your excitement because that gets people excited. So there's so many possibilities and it all starts with once again with you. And what I would ask you to do is to let Angela know and Ed know if you're one of their key people, if you're one of the key people they are going to move forward, are you going to go director? Are you, how many directors are you bringing with you? It's not just about you. It's about bringing some people, one on the left and one on the right, you all go director at the same time. Do you know what that would do for your organization? You know how many new people that is that would solidify you into the pools? And then taking that next group and pushing them toward executive, solidifying that $5,000 in the pool, keep stepping up, keep enrolling, you know, and then it starts to have a life of its own. But you're constantly casting the vision, constantly pulling people up the ranks. It's not that hard. Enroll, rank advance, enroll, rank advance, cast the vision, and the magic will happen. I love it. And I have to tell you guys, I use Kathy's associate interview all the time because it's so fluid that I never forget to ask a question. You know, the way the doctor keeps a case record, I keep that associate interview for every person. And it reminds me to ask them, you know, do you go to church? Do you participate in local school events? Because sometimes we forget to ask all these questions. You have to utilize isogenicsbusiness.com. Go through every tab get familiar with the podcast but i have to be honest with you kathy sometimes during that associate interview i will ask someone if time and money were of no issue what would you be doing and the biggest answer i get is you know i don't know i've never thought about that and that makes me so sad when in life did people stop forgetting to dream so when we come into their life and we're building these friendships and these relationships, it's not just about a 30-day pack. It's about showing someone how they can become physically healthy, mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, and financially liberated liberated you know kathy knows my parents came here as russian immigrants my father was a taxi cab driver and my mom worked in a doll factory do you think that if immigrants knew of this opportunity where they get paid solely on their passion with no cap it doesn't matter if you're a man a woman a jewish or catholic gay or straight they pay you on your passion. The more people you talk to, you can earn. Look at Herb Cepeda, New York State Trooper. Look at Lynn Hagedorn, more cows than people. Folks, anybody can do it. You have to have the desire. You have to want it. You know, it, it's, you have to set goals for yourself, right? And I find that for some people, it's easier to punch a clock and answer to someone else. But you know, I, I have some things that keep me responsible for my business. And this is, this is, this is my planner. And I have a daily planner on my desk. And if, and if this puppy is empty, I am not going to have a good week. Just because you're four star or 12 star, it has no bearing. You are having the conversations, you are talking to people. So how can we keep ourselves accountable, Kathy, as business owners? I know you spend a lot of time talking with your family, setting your intentions and saying, okay, these are the quotas that I'm going to hit. These are the hours that I'm going to work. Jim, I need your help with that. Well, not anymore, Eric's a big boy. <laughs> Tell me what we can do as, as workers, as parents, as to really treat this like a business and hone in on it. Well, number one, you have to make the commitment yourself that you're going to do that, that you're going to talk to three people. And, and Angela keeps it so simple, and that's what it is. You know, talking to three people a day, getting together with your family. I can't emphasize that enough. Really sharing with them what the goal is. You know, you know I'm going to be working for the school for our family. And then have your kids start dreaming. Have your kids start sharing, oh, what, what would you like to achieve if, if mom gets to you know, two star? When I get that two star bonus, if I make that $2,000, what would you like to see? Maybe you take them on you know, to some, uh, some event or some 
thing going on in the community or whatever it is, a little one day outing or whatever it is, but get them behind it too. And so that they're making you accountable. Mom, did you talk to your three? <laughs> so that they're asking you and then put it up visible. You've got to have it visible. You've got to have a chart like Angela has her day timer. She has that up in front of her. You have to have something visible that you're going to talk to three people. I always put three rocks in my pocket. And as I talk to someone, I move it to the next, to the next pocket. But, you know, it's keeping the list of the follow-up. The follow-up, three contacts a day, three follow-ups a day, three contacts a day, three follow-ups a day. If you do that consistently, you're going to enroll new people. But it's getting your family behind it, getting your team behind it. Maybe you have an accountability partner in this team that can hold you accountable. Maybe it's maybe it's someone in on this call, right, that's going to hold you accountable. Did you do the work? Have you done it? And that, you know, that helps. It really does because they're going to be asking you. But you know what? The, the one that you need to be the most accountable to is yourself. I mean, you need to look yourself in the mirror and you need to get off this call tonight and you need to say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to commit to it and I'm going to do it. Write it on your mirror. Three three calls a day, right? In big red lipstick, three calls a day. I'm just serious. It's that simple. Just keeping it in front of you everywhere you go, because that will make you take action. That will get you excited and work in pockets of your time. Many of you have kids, you have a lot of things going on. Maybe you work other jobs, but maybe you have an hour. It's your power hour. It's your hour to call, 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 hour to follow up, follow up, follow up, put them through the tools, show them the system, but it's being productive in that time, not just sitting there answering your emails and doing all those things. You've got to get the phone to ring. You've got, you've got to get people going into your Facebook page. You have to get those connections to make it work. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I think that reading books is, is very crucial. I think getting to events, I love that you pump that radio up in your little car and you get that state of mind, you get excited. But here's the thing, you can read all the books you want, you can go to all the events. If you don't share the story, you are not growing a team. So I want everyone to state in the chat, what are your goals? I want to know your weekly goals. I want to know your monthly goals. My monthly goal is to enroll eight people, create two consultants, and one crystal manager. That's what I shoot for every single month. Let me see what your goals are because it's really important. You've got to have a monthly goal. You've got to have a weekly goal. Every week I strive to sign up two people. How many people are you talking to? Out of those 10 people, Becky, how many are you going to make consultants, right? Because here's the thing. It's, it's very difficult to enroll 30 people, but if you've got a team working together, and Kathy always taught me, delegate jobs. If somebody's a great box through, box walks through, uh, box walk through coach, you give them that. If somebody's better at casting the vision, you have them assign that. If somebody in your team is great at doing the comp plan, utilize them for that. It's a lot easier to enroll eight and create two consultants who are working with you as opposed to signing up 16 people by yourself, right? So it's about you share, they share, repeat. So, you know, one week you're enrolling, the next week you're teaching them how to enroll. And it's not that hard, folks. It's not that hard if you get out of your own head. And I want to tell you something. Guess what? Some people will say no, not because they're, they're not interested, because they just don't know. Jimmy Smith always says, no doesn't mean N-O, they just don't know. And it's our job to inform them. And I have to tell you guys honestly, most of the people that I have followed up with decided to join. And they're not saying no to you because they don't like your hair or they don't like your approach or you didn't know enough about the products. They don't, they're not ready. Maybe they don't want to give up the wine. Maybe they're not ready to take their health in their hands. People are saying no, not because of a reflection of you or anything you're doing wrong. People are saying no because it takes time to sink in. Change is tough for some people. Be patient. Keep talking. Keep casting the vision. I see Vicky commenting, and I want to tell you about Vicky Brunetti. This is someone who hit executive. 
her entire organization fell apart. She was ready to quit. And you know what? I talked her off the ledge and now she's four stars, start 1000 member. You know, she is magnificent. This is our, my top cycler week after week after week, you know, back to executive again. It's not always cake. They call it network because we're working our booties off casting the vision. But the light at the end of the tunnel is while you are sitting on the beach with your family, enjoying a margarita, you will still be getting that paycheck every Monday. You are the boss, right? So it, it really is about that. You know, Ed Golden just bought his first home. Oh. Uh, yeah, they, they out of an, an apartment in Brooklyn. He was my neighbor in Brooklyn, and they bought a beautiful home for the girls in Long Island. And you see pictures of the kids on the slide. I mean, this is magnificent. That's the reward because somebody had the courage to share this gift with them, and they worked. They worked. They helped everyone on their team. Their kids get to grow up in a beautiful life in a beautiful home surrounded by great people, positive people, people who want more out of life. Do you think, Kathy, that network marketers have a, a special heart of service? Oh, As yeah. a social worker, I see so many special qualities in network marketers. Well, especially when you have a product line like ours. I mean, I really think that once you really get what we have, that you're giving people a gift and you're giving them the best product in the world and you're having them open up a whole self freedom account. I love that name because that's exactly what it is. It's a whole self account to buy your products, but also creates freedom for your family. So that's something Tanya uses here. I, I thought I'd drop that and you may have heard it, but a whole self freedom account because they'll say, well, what's the freedom. Well, let me show you. Let me show you how to get your products paid for. Let me show you how to make an extra 500 a month so you can go out and do a few things that you've always wanted to do. So yeah, I think that when you're with the right company that, um, you know, people do have a heart of service and you, you become unstoppable because when you see the lives that you're changing, how could, how could anybody stop? And it's in really what it's all about is how many times are you telling the isogenic story but then how many times more importantly is your team telling the isogenic story? So remember, if you're not telling the story, your team not, is not telling the story, your organization is going to be flat. So you have to get everybody to get the velocity around it, everybody to get the energy around it, to tell the isogenic story, to keep spreading the word, to keep spreading the word. So many people have never, ever heard of us. It's just amazing. And you all have the potential to do this. And it's never, ever, ever giving up. It's always knowing there's someone out there waiting for you. Someone else is going to say yes. It's just like you said with this, your lady that, you know, she was ready to give up. But she didn't give up. Now she's a four-star golden circle top cycler. It's just the way it is. Success takes time and it takes determination and persistence and pushing forward and keep going for the gold and never, ever giving up. And then it finally it just breaks through. It breaks through and you have a solid organization. But once it gets that salt solidified. Maybe you're a five star and you want to take it to max out. It's a whole nother story. You've got to get five leaders all pushing to do the same thing, to go two star, three star, and it will push you. That's what's so great about it. you help people and you go up the ladder. I have never seen a business like that. That's what I fell in love with. And I'm still in love with that is you help people and you become successful. There's nothing like it in the world. I love it. And the stories are just life changing. And I have to tell you what a beautiful community. I have linked arms with so many leaders and that's what our blitz was about. It was about the Dunsky family joining arms, Jen Murgatroyd, Laura Hernandez, Drew Berman, who tells the story about how you guys met with the karaoke machine in the Chinese yeah. restaurant. <laughs> I think that because you and Jim have always been willing to roll up your sleeves and give I sense that that is the, the general consensus of everyone in the entire company. Every leader is more than willing to host an event with another leader, help another team. I mean, no one says no. Everybody wants each other to succeed. And I have to tell you, I feel that there's so much abundance here that people really, they want everybody to make it. 
They want everybody to make it. Everyone is humble enough to say, what is she doing? I want to learn. How can I implement that to help my team? The Australians, my God, they're doing the platinum call. They shared the call with me. I felt like I found gold. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it's just, it's something absolutely magnificent to be a part of. So um, I, I want to see if anyone has a, I don't even know what time it is. I can keep Kathy on the phone all night, but I won't. <laughs> so does anyone have any questions for Kathy? Because we are all racing to director. If you are already a director, it doesn't matter. You're going to hit that crystal director reset and shoot your way to executive. Every single one of us on this call has a goal, and I want you to post your goal in the Blitz group. I want to know what you're running for, and I really want you to be committed because there's nothing we won't do to help you, whether you need three-way phone calls, what, whatever it is. You know, we're, we're in this together, but you have to decide. This is work. You've got to put the pedal to the metal. You've got to pick up the phone, and you've got to bust a move. You know, so um, does anyone have a question? There's a question here. There's a question that came up. It says, what do you mean by um, do the isogenic story? Do you mean your personal story or the company story? You weave it in together. So I'm working with a company that's changing people's lives physically and financially. The results are incredible. And I joined this company, started my own business with them, and I'm excited. For me, I've had more energy, endurance, and stamina, and I'm looking for motivated people that want to improve their health and also want to create a secondary income. So it's you kind of weaving the whole thing together that inspires other people to join, um, you know, whatever that might be. Because Isogenic Story is a great, great story of the transformations that go on in people's lives. Absolutely. And then I'm seeing a lot of people posting that they're going three, 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 one team, crystal director, crystal manager, and, and text Angela too. let her know, let her know if you're going to be one of her key people, that you're going to be the next charger in the group that you want her support to go to the next level. Let her know because she doesn't know unless you step up because she's moving forward, whether you are or not. And I'm telling you, Absolutely. she has got a lot of energy and, and, and I just want to thank you, Angela personally for all you do, you know, everyone loves you in isogenics, you know, if you, all the calls you do for Australia and, and everyone, they just appreciate you so much. So thank, thank you. you. Isogenics thank has you. changed my family's life and I wear ISA on my heart and on my sleeve. And I just, you know, this has been the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. So I want to thank you for that. Um, uh, what I will tell you guys is that, you know, the more conversations you have, just be open to saying yes, whether you try a new yoga class or a Zumba class or get your eyebrows waxed at a different place. Don't be afraid to say yes to different things. I took an Uber uh, cab ride home uh, to the airport from my, from my mom's in Florida, and I asked the gentleman, I said, how do you pronounce your name, Yosef or Yusef? And he started talking to us and he said that he owned a restaurant business in London. My husband said that my jaw fell down so low that I had to pick it back up. And I told him my story. And if you go to Isogenics Business, you will learn how to tell the story. Before Isogenics, how you heard about Isogenics, what were your results, and what is your mission now? And after I told my 30-second story, I told them about Jim and Kathy and the company and the excitement. That's the story, Becky. It's whatever passion you feel about ISA. For some people, it's a business story. For some people, it's a health story. So I couldn't believe my, my Uber driver was from London. I almost had a heart attack. We exchanged information. <laughs> it was so exciting. Um, but uh, Kathy, share your best nugget of advice for keeping a servant heart. Well, you know, I think that keeping a servant heart is, you just have to do things with the right intention. Um, you know, I think really sharing with passion and conviction, you know, what we have, you know, that is being a servant heart, helping people. Just say, look, I have a gift. I wanted to tell you about it, you know, and this is what it is. It may be for you. It may not be for you. But I just, I felt, you know, that it was my responsibility to tell you. So having that servant heart and, and sharing that enthusiasm and passion with everybody is, is crucial to your success. And keeping your integrity up and don't get, 
don't get overwhelmed if people don't want to do it. It's okay. You know, some people are going to say yes, and some people are going to say no. But just keep looking for the for the gift out there to give to someone, and and you know, the magic will happen. Absolutely. Um, Kathy, thank you for everything you do. We are all so fortunate to be a part of this journey. Thank you for saving my life 84 oh. days in. Your company has changed my family's life. Do we know any information about the UK and the comp plan? Do we know any details? Yes. Yeah, we're starting with our, um, our compensation plan, but there's no promotions when we start. So bottom line, on a, a May 15th, the website will go live. People will be able to order products, you know, and they're populating the tree. So all that volume will start coming in that first week and you'll be paid cycles and you'll get product introduction bonuses, but you just won't get the doubles and we don't have the rank advancements yet, but that will happen because can you imagine if we had 14,000 people join and all that happened, it would just, it would be too much. It would, it would not be a, the payout would be so horrific that the company couldn't do it. So this is the best way for us to do it. Get your team solidified. You'll start early in the cycle. The volume will start accumulating, and then we will wave the wand and do the um, the promotion. So it won't be too far after. So just go out there and share it. Get people on the products. They'll start sharing it, and the magic will happen. Because the launch is, I think, on um, June 25th and 26th. That's when the promotions will start. Fantastic. Um, so last question, Kathy, what is your best advice about creating consultants and rank advancing? What's the best way to go about doing that? Well, I, I truly believe it is like if you enrolled me, it's, it's really sharing with your conviction that say, look at Kathy, I, oh, I feel it's my responsibility to let you know how to get your products paid for. Because you know, we do that, you know, it's just going to be easy for you to be on the product. So what, uh, and I also want you to have great results with the products. So do you know two people that would have, need more energy, endurance, stamina, might want to lose weight? Do you know two people that you would like to do the program with? And I will call them with you. I'll get them on the phone. I'll help you explain it to you. I'll show them the tools. And to get two people right away is crucial. Awesome. I think I hear someone snoring. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the best part about zoom is you can't help the bloopers and they just make it so much more fun <laughs> kathy every week on blitz we had a theme one week it was mustache week and i think i got mustache week confused with something else and i literally came on with a hundred people and i was the only one wearing a mustache i was mortified <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great. You always make it fun. And that's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to have fun when you're doing this. It's so much fun. Um, I want to thank you so much for being on the call tonight. Absolutely. We are fired up. Uh, you know, most of the Blitz members, we loved it. We loved being together so much that we actually decided to go for an additional five weeks. Oh, oh has, has ended. So we're going from May 1st to May 29th. And it's called Race to Rank Advance. And we, we, don't, we locked arms so tight, we don't want to unlock them. <laughs> That's great. I'm so proud of you. Well, speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. And Angela is leading the pack. These and follow are... her lead because she knows what she's doing. Thank you so much, Kathy. These okay, guys thank are... you. I'm sure you're going to stay on a little bit longer. Thank you. 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 Thank you.